This is number 17 for test two of the math AccuPlacer. The elevation at the summit of Mount Whitney is 4,418 meters above sea level. Climbers begin at a trailhead that has an elevation of 2,550 meters above sea level. What is the change in elevation to the nearest foot? So here's where they throw you off. They go from meters to feet. So what is the change in elevation to the nearest foot between the trailhead and the summit? And then they go on to tell you that one foot is approximately equal to 0 0.3048 meters, okay? So they're giving you the conversion. So the first thing you have to do is you have to figure out the change from here to here, and then whatever that number is, whatever the change in elevation you have, whatever the change of elevation you have, you have to next convert that to feet. So they give you the formula. So step one is find the change of elevation, and step two is do a conversion. We're changing the units. So to visualize this, I drew Mount Whitney for you so you could see. So we have Mount Whitney. So what I've done here is I put fish in there is to show you that this is water. And when they talk about sea level, they're talking about from zero so zero is here, and then at the top of the mountain, the top of Mount Whitney is 4,418 meters, and then they have a trailhead at 2,550 meters. And I'm putting that so you to remind you that this is not feet, this is meters. And a meter is, at a, is approximately uh, three feet. So what we have to do is we have to find the difference. So I'm going to stay with the same color. So change in elevation is this. The distance between here and here. So that's going to be a subtraction problem. So we subtract four 418 minus 2550. 8 minus 0 is 8. 11 minus 5 is 6. 3, which is too small, so 13 minus 5 is 8. And 3 minus 2 is 1. So there's a 1,000. 868 meters. So from here to here is 1,868 meters. So that's this distance. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to convert this to feet. And the way you convert this is you divide this by this. So watch. So obviously, if you divide a number by something less than 1 but greater than 0, this number is going to get bigger. And in this case, it's going to get a lot bigger. So you would divide 1, 8, 6, 8, now, if you think I'm going to divide this number by this crazy decimal, it's not going to happen. Also, on the test, if they had you do that, they would have the, let you use a calculator that's built into AccuPlacer. If for some reason they don't, then what you would do is you would look at this number here and you'd say, oh, I can, I can round this to 0.3. So I could round this to 0.3. So this is approximately equal to 0.3 because once you get past here into the thousandths and ten thousandths, you, it's so small. So when I would divide this here, then I would go, well, it's a decimal. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take that decimal point and I want to move it over one. So I move it here 
And if I move it here, I have to add a zero here because I took that decimal and I moved it there. So it's three now instead of 0.3. Three goes into 18 six times. Six times three is 18. Three goes into six two times. I bring down that eight. Three goes into eight two times. And three goes here three times. So if I look at my choices here, this is the closest one. Now again, for this one, they're gonna let you use a calculator if they're having you do that kind of uh, division. So don't stress about that. But if they don't let you use a calculator, you could have always rounded this to 0.3 and then you would find an approximation and this is certainly a lot closer than that. So this is your right answer. And this is my drawing of Mount Whitney.